Okay guys, so how about a quick video on contouring? That was um, another question or request that I had was just a quick tutorial on contour lines. So that's what we'll do. A quick tutorial on contour lines. And we'll try to make it quick because the battery on my phone is really low and you know me, I never really prep. So here we go. Okay, so, um, and there's, this is not the only way, and uh, it's, it's just my way. So the basic guideline is um, on contours, and I'm gonna do this with a brush. Uh, do I contour first? Do I do details first? Whatever you wanna do. So it's not, there's, there's no rules there either. So the basic guideline is you go thick on the bottom, and uh, when it's opposite of the light source as well. So that's where you go thicker. Okay, so let's talk more inking, right? Here we go. So I'll try to do like simpler lines. So this is kind of like underneath the upper line thinner. This is his leg under the cuff of his pants. This is going to be black, so let's do that. And the line on top, let's say where the lighting is from. Go lighter. And for me, if it's, um, let's see, the larger, the larger object, his pants, his leg. So that gets like a little bit of a thicker line and that's a little bit thinner I mean, I'm sorry thicker thinner and you can pull back and look at it and beef it up a little bit if you need to And when you're done inking the whole thing, you usually pull back and, and look at the overall um, the big picture and and you know thicken and thin out. I guess thinning out you can do with whiteouts, but usually you just go in and beef up stuff. So okay, so that's the outside. And this leg is under this leg, so. And you can pop in some chunkier lines for fun. Thinner. And breaking lines is kind of um, personal preference or if you're working with a penciler who hates broken lines, don't do it. <laughs> but if your penciler kind of likes it, then yeah, do it. And the number one my number one advice is um, you should talk to each other for heaven's sake. Talk to your penciler. <laughs> Find out what <laughs> what he hates and um, he or she I don't mean to be sexist um, it's always good to talk to each other and kind of you know work together. That's I think that's very important and that addresses another question that I've had is um, how much do I change or how, what you know what do I take liberty with when when I'm inking someone um, I think it's always good to if you work with the same person for a while you kind of get to know one another and you can um, you know you can you can kind of get a feel of what they like and um, and if you can't, I mean, again, talk to each other. I mean, you can't always get a feel. And the the most direct way is just to talk to each other and ask, hey, you know, do you hate this? Do you mind if I do this or do that? So, um, you know, so it gives you the freedom to play around a little bit. And you're not completely 
like ignoring or you know stomping all over the work that they've already done I think that's the best way but so I don't know if this helps with your question about contouring because I think I'm not so good at describing what I do so hopefully just watching will help um, and I do jump around quite a bit so I'm sorry if this is if you're waiting for one part to be done and I'm like moving to the next part I do jump around for one it's to avoid like the big bloppy wet ink area that I've already inked they're not lying but um and then I'll go back if the ink is already dry. So you can see, so this, so all the bottom lines are a little bit thicker than the top. And I shouldn't have inked that because now I can't ink that until this guy dries. So I, while I'm waiting, I can do another thin line here because that will dry faster. didn't do this but I will great now I have to wait for that to dry okay but no worries we can still jump around so okay and while you're inking don't just just ink lines without looking at what they are because whoopsie so this is goes with this leg this pant leg And I rotate my page a lot too. Okay. And Ooh, that's dry. So let's go over here and ink his thigh. Okay. So here we go, line underneath, kind of tucked away. You can make that thicker above, thinner, because when light hits it, all these objects, like look at any object, you're not going to see a complete outline of every object. And I have folds in here on his pants. I think I want this thicker, so I'm going to make that thicker, that thicker. Okay, like I said, this is not like the only way because you can do like, you can vary the line weights like I am or you can do flat line. Um, so it just depends on the style. It depends on your style. It depends on the penciler style. Um, and let's do the crease of his pants. Okay. Okay. So that's kind of the basics. Of contour lines and maybe I'll go in I'll do a little bump for the folds finish off with his knee and there you have it got most of it done So, okay, thumbs up, guys. And for those of you who are going to give me thumbs down, that's cool, too. Uh, I appreciate you watching anyway. So, thanks, guys. I hope that was somewhat helpful. And um, I'll try to do more of these as I go, as I'm working. Um, Okie dokie.